yeah. important things to say about money too. Uh, oh, <laughs> pause. <laughs> no? Pause. No? Pause on that. I mean, I, I mean, I'll just keep it a stack with you. Most women are awful with money, if we're going to be honest about it. You know, yeah. three quarters of debt for all the people. Oh, I'm inside this like, oh. How dare you? No, it's literally proven. That's it's, why we want It's statistically guys with money. known. Exactly. Like women, <laughs> yeah. the three quarters of the world's debt is held by women, and most college debt is held by women. Women they're all, are, are out less here buying responsible. bags instead of real estate. Exactly. Boom. So, so in general, most women are bad with money. Now, does that mean that all women are financially illiterate and stupid? No, no. not at all. No. But I am saying that there's a large majority, a large majority. that are bad with money. Yeah. Uh, so. Anyway, That's because we don't get taught how to handle it. We just get taught that we're supposed to find a man with money to take care of us. I would I would argue it's the opposite now. In today's <laughs> day and age, like with with modern feminism and everything like that, like I I know women are taught strong, be strong and independent, don't yeah. rely on a guy, go totally. out there and go to school, get, get your own career, get Absolutely. your bike. Sixty percent, over sixty percent of college attendees we, are women. But then we graduate and we get paid less. But whose choice is that though? No, that's by the employers who devalue women's. Value oh. like so. Are we you don't saying get... that women get paid less? Yeah, th like twenty to thirty percent less. Okay, I guess we're entering the wage gap myth. <laughs> so, oh, is there a wage gap myth? It's a myth. Yeah, it's one hundred percent a myth. Yes. So I'll break this down real quick. When they when, when they say, "Oh, women earn seventy cents on every I've been dollar there. or eighty cents on every dollar," that's false. The reality is this. <laughs> The reason why women get paid less is because they tend to work less hours, take more vacation time, paternity, paternity leave, and they also lead all the industries that pay the least by choice. They go into social work, they go into jobs that end up paying less. Math, science, um, and engineering, these types of jobs pay a lot more. That's where the men go. Mm. And women go to college more than men, so there's no argument about like, oh, they don't have the same opportunity. No, no, no. The, there's an equality of opportunity, it's just that women want equality of outcome, and that's not the way the world works. So the thing is, is that, Touché. and on top of that too, one last thing, men also work far more dangerous jobs that pay more than women do. Mm -hmm. Law enforcement, offshore drilling, construction, so, <clears throat> Alaskan fishing, etc. There is a et thing et called a glass ceiling, and we'll just, you know, pull oh, up college go. knowledge Let's, real quick. Uh, okay. Yeah, because I'm cute, but I'm smart, you know what I'm saying? So okay, there is a part where it's like, okay, but um, there's opportunity. Being a man gives you more opportunity. Yeah. Um, you can be a woman and you can go into an interview and a man will hire a man just because he's a man before he hires a woman who has way more credentials mm -hmm. for that job before he hires a man just because he can relate to him on that level. Okay. Mm -hmm. I do agree with what you say when you say that women go after less paying jobs and then what I will say is that women don't know how to negotiate their pay. Yeah. They don't know mm -hmm. their that is, just that is now a part, learning. That is yeah. a part of why they yeah. make less because they're, le they're more, they tend to be uh, They're just going to take what they get because yeah. like, oh my God, I got this job. You know, it's starstruck and I think we are changing the narrative now. But also, too, I think women need to understand that, like, go where their money's paying you. Like, know yep. your worth, too. Like, if a fucking fuck it, if it's OnlyFans, you're going to make 20K, 30K on OnlyFans. What the fuck? What, the, what are you working a nine to five for? I, I will say this, though, because the glass ceiling is also a myth. It's uh, not because, a myth. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you why it's a myth. Go ahead. All the industries that uh, women claim that there's a glass ceiling in, mm -hmm. they're in, they're actually incentivized to hire more women. Right, but you can say and, the same and, thing when and they... And push them up. You can say the same thing when they did um, affirmative action. That's why but women benefit is affirmative. That's it what I'm is, trying to tell but you. it's just now happening. It was in like the last 15 years or so. Okay, it's not but we're like talking, a thing. we're talking about right now, 2000, it, in 2021, yeah, we're definitely women, changing women have narrative. more privileges and rights than men do. By Absolutely. Far. Just yeah. because you have to fill that gap that was for so long holding over mm. women. That's the only reason why. And then now it's becoming a thing. It's becoming like, oh, it's all rights. Well, I, I would say, I would say we're, we're overcorrected now. There are more women in college. There are more women uh, in, in, uh, prof in the working now than men are. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, women are earning men in a lot of the major cities in the United States. And we're still folding your laundry and cooking your dinner and I would having argue your babies. That, I'm arguing that they're not doing that. They're, they're <laughs> not at all. with the career not thing. Really. Yeah, but no, it's definitely a career I'll say this. Days. I'll say this. The glass ceiling, also a myth, because like I said, the jobs that used to ostracize women from the workplace now are incentivizing women to come in. If you're in the military or you're in law enforcement or you're like in the business setting as a woman, you're way more likely to get promoted and get a job based on affirmative action and also them having equal opportunity. If you're a minority female, even more. And this is the uncomfortable reality. You guys want to know who's getting ostracized? White men. Yep. If we're going to yeah, keep it a stack. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah. But so, I think that women should stop competing time with men come. in general because they're thinking there's places that women make tons of money. Like I have guys tell me all the time, like, oh my God, you just sit there and you just walk around and you bring bottles or you just sit here and you dance with guys and you get all this money. And it's like, yeah, you can't do that. So I feel like, they could. We have to kind of start no. like right. realizing. Clubs. No, no. I would rather see a female uh, stripper than a male stripper yeah, 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 any yeah. day of yeah. the week. And, I don't want to see thing. a guy gyrating and, at and Let's all. keep it a stack. Yeah. Like there's privileges and rights that women, I can't name one privilege or right that men have that women don't. Because you guys not only enjoy the benefits of equality, but you guys also get all the privileges of traditional, you know, being treated like a lady. Yeah. So, and I'm not complaining about that. But no, what we I don't because men don't respect women at yeah, the end of the don't. day. Men still have this like, 
underlying like, oh, yeah, I hate women and I just mm -hmm. want to fuck them and ah, uh, I'm, men well, are like wait, that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> With all due respect, in your job industry, yes, they're not going to respect you because they're going to get mad. You don't know what my job industry though. Oh, I know what it I'm is. A, you don't know. I'm I, a I know what person. it is. And I have a couple of jobs and I wear a couple of hats, so okay. you don't know. But, so. uh, but I but I know that a you lot of the men you that you're going to encounter, yes, they're going to have but even uh, the men who are holding high, like high status jobs, there's a reason let's, why. Uh, let they don't Omar finish his uh, thought, please. Yeah, yeah, oh, you I keep cutting so. me off. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, basically, it's it's your industry, the, the, especially that nightlife industry. They're just like here's the thing: guys love attractive women, but they also have a lot of them have like a little bit of resentment at how quickly and easily women make money just mm -hmm. off of their looks. Because let's keep it a stack: even the most attractive guy can't monetize his looks to the degree of an even an average woman. So. Guys are gonna have that resentment, which is why I don't go to these types of establishments. Yeah. Uh, and here's the thing, I've dated those types of girls too, but the thing is, is that a lot of guys understand that they get a lot of attention, a lot of validation, a lot of money based off the way they look. And some guys are haters, I'm not even gonna lie. I see where the I see where you're coming from with that. Like a lot of dudes are haters. But to say that there's a glass ceiling or a wage gap is 100% a myth. 